bullying was kind of a, a release valve for that. It helped people to to move their um, cattle and sheep and goats up to the mountains um, where they could take advantage of, you know, seasonal um, summer growth. Uh, and then in turn, of course, in the lowlands, there was then more ground lift available for um, for the crops. And before, you know, it was a mass attendance was a regular thing in the country, um, you would have had slightly different uh, social structures and expectations. And in bullying, um, essentially because it was mainly young women uh, and young people who were acting as herders in the mountains, you actually had young people getting a lot of freedom as a result of this practice. So first of all, the fact that people were moving at all in rural Ireland, and second of all, the fact that young people, um, because of that movement, had freedom, uh, social freedom to socialize and, uh, you know, play music in an unsupervised setting. It kind of, I suppose, gives the lie a little bit to the idea that um, everybody was kept in their place. Um, rural Ireland was a bit more free than that, especially if you go back further and prior to the famine. 